This is the story of Hurricane Maria. The 2017 Atlantic hurricane season was already one for the record books before Maria ever formed. Hurricane Harvey had drowned Houston, Texas under catastrophic and unprecedented flooding. Hurricane Irma had just cut a catastrophic path through the Caribbean and Florida. Communities were still reeling, trying to recover from the damage already done, when the Atlantic's warm waters gave birth to one other monster. On September 16th, 2017, a tropical storm was named Maria. At first, it looked like just another late hurricane season storm. It was something to watch, but it wasn't anything to panic over just yet. But the environment was perfect. It had warm sea surface temperatures, low wind shear, and plenty of moisture, which are the perfect ingredients for a Category 5 hurricane. In less than 48 hours, Maria exploded in strength, and by September 18th, it was a Category 5 hurricane with sustained winds of over 160 miles per hour. Meteorologists called it textbook rapid intensification. For the people living in its path, it meant disaster was coming faster than anyone had time to prepare. On the night of September 18th, Hurricane Maria slammed into the island of Dominica. Within hours, roofs were ripped off nearly every building. Power lines were tangled in the streets, and the lush green forests of the island were stripped bare. They were gone. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt barely survived on his own because his own home was destroyed as well. But Maria wasn't finished. Hurricane Maria set its sights on Puerto Rico, 